Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be going through this guy over here. This is my everyday slash on the go makeup bag. When I was actually able to leave my house, this was the makeup bag that I would bring with me whenever I would pretty much have to get ready outside of my house. So I mainly brought this with me to the gym because oftentimes I would have to put on a full face of makeup after my workout. So I'm gonna be going through the entire bag and I did actually apply all the products on my face so that you could see everything in action. And I also have not just makeup in here, but also some hair care, some skincare products, body care products. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts down below let me know some of your favorite products that you keep in your everyday makeup bag and of course hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe if you're not part of the fam yet let's get right into it so this is my makeup bag it is a big boy it is large and in charge unfortunately this bag is not available to purchase I did receive this in a PR package from like drunk elephant but to be honest with you guys it's really just a very basic big bag I'll put more comparable bags in the description box down below for you guys to check out so Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by showing you guys the non-makeup items that I have in here. So, mmm, delicious. I have a nice little half lash that was just sticking on the inside of the bag, I love that. <laughs> okay, so starting off first with the skincare that I have in here, I have my face wash. It's a full-size bottle of the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. This is one of my favorite face washes because it's super, super hydrating. I just love this, and what I really like about this, especially for like a makeup bag, is that it does lock, so you just gotta like turn this little thing and you're not able to pump it, so it's not going to explode in your bag which is ideal. For my moisturizer, I kind of just threw this guy in here. There's really no particular reason why I have this in this bag. It's my Sicily Essential Anti-Aging Daycare. It's just a moisturizer that I'm actually just trying to use up. It's good, it works, it's nothing incredible. It's not my favorite moisturizer that I've ever tried. Again, it's just kind of one that I threw in this bag. However, something that I did put very intentionally inside of this bag is my Alper Oils Beard and Face Oil. No, I do not have a beard. Yes, I do use this on my face, even though this is their beard oil. The reason why I actually like this, particularly for my everyday bag, because it absorbs really quickly. And this bag would typically go with me to the gym. And after the gym, my face is really sweaty and I'm really, really hot. And I find that after the gym, Everything that I put on my face just gets really, really dewy really quickly because I'm just so overheated and hot. For that purpose, this oil is perfect because it doesn't leave like a super oily residue, but it still does the job that an oil does, which is just to deeply hydrate the skin. So I love this, and that is why I have that in here. Then of course, gotta have SPF. This is my Ren Clean Screen Mineral SPF 30 Mattifying Face Cream. This is amazing for underneath makeup because it's an SPF that is not greasy or sticky. It completely absorbs into the skin it doesn't leave any type of residue at all so I just really like this for underneath makeup so I always make sure to have that with me now let's move on to some hair products that I keep with me so I do I have more than just that mm, no I don't I don't really keep a lot of hair products with me if I am going to be like washing my hair or anything that's a whole other story but for just like touch-ups or freshening up my hair I like a good dry shampoo obviously this dry shampoo is my favorite dry shampoo I have ever used it is from lululemon and it is the no-show dry shampoo. This stuff is incredible. It is so freaking good. I always found that dry shampoos would just leave my hair dirtier than before. Like it felt really, really gross in my hair. Um, and it also just would always show up. However, this beauty does not show up in dark hair and it actually makes my hair feel clean. It's fantastic, I love it. And this is the little travel size as well. I'll, I'll do a little demo so you can see. But you see, it doesn't show up in my dark hair at all and it actually makes it look less greasy. One more thing before I start to apply the makeup, I do have another bag within my bag. It's this guy over here, and this is where I like to keep the items in my bag that are kind of easy to misplace and also my brushes to keep them protected. So you're actually gonna notice that I purposefully bring products with me that I don't have to use a lot of brushes for. So I don't really have many brushes with me. I kind of just have them just in case I need. So I have this little guy from Hourglass. This is one of my favorite travel brushes. It is the Hourglass. There's no number on it, <laughs> but I'll link it down below in case you want to check it out. Pretty much just like a really dense angled 
kabuki brush it works really great for foundation and that's what i like to use it for so i do really like this because it's nice and compact then the second face brush that i like to keep with me is this guy from lila b this is the number two bronzer brush as you can see it comes in this little case which is really great so it does protect it this is what i like to use for my face powder the last brush that i bring with me is one single lonely blending brush this is my mac 217s so i pretty much just bring one brush that i can use for a couple different things and the mac 217 is the most perfect versatile multi-purpose multi-use kind of brush um, it's good because it's fluffy so i can use this to put any eyeshadow in the crease and it's also flat enough to use as just like a flat brush to put color all over my lid i could even use this honestly if i wanted to more precisely blend out concealer and then the last tool that i have in here is a little beauty blender just in case i want it like i said i do like to keep the things that would be a little bit harder to find in a big makeup bag like this um so i have my smaller more skinnier makeup items that could kind of slip through the cracks so i have my two brow pencils my benefit precisely my brow as well as my urban decay brow blade i have my brow gel this is my glossier um boy brow and i also like to keep some hair clips in here to pin my hair out of the way if i feel like i need to do that you never know and then the last two things that i like to keep in here is a hair elastic because this is incredibly important to always have on you you just never know when you're going to need one and then i also keep my little rollerball perfume this is my nemat musk amber perfume um, i love these fragrance oils they're so delicious they smell so so good vanilla musk amber and musk amber are my three favorite scents so i like to you know always smell good and that's everything that's in here. So you know what? First things first, we're gonna take those little hair clips and pin back my hair because I actually need to do that. My skin is already moisturized, so I'm gonna jump right into my face primer. It's the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I really like this primer. I feel like it kind of brightens up the skin and it gives it a little bit of a glow, but a glow that's also not too overwhelming. I always have this one with me because I feel like it's just super versatile. And honestly, sometimes if like after the gym, I don't really wanna put on a full face of makeup, but I wanna put something on, I'll literally just put this primer on my face because I find it just does a really good job of just making my skin look really nice and alive <laughs> better than if there was nothing on it essentially so i always go for my beauty blender over this foundation brush most of the time um, unless i don't have a sink nearby and i'm not able to dampen my beauty blender that is why i have this foundation brush on hand just in case that happens but this is the one that i like to go for because i pretty much use it for all the products for foundation i feel like it makes the most sense to have a stick foundation in an on-the-go makeup bag because you just never know what kind of situation you're going to be in where you have to do your makeup and pumping out liquid foundations could get messy it can get a little bit unsanitary and i feel like stick foundations are just so quick and easy just to swipe on and you don't have to worry about it going everywhere so this stick foundation is from bare minerals it's the complexion and rescue hydrating foundation stick it's not newish in my life but i have been rediscovering it so this wasn't originally in this makeup bag i did put it in here for this video because i did want to try it out with you guys on camera because i have been trying it again and really really enjoying it and i wanted you to see what it looked like on the face but before i had this product in here i did have the makeup forever foundation stick in here that was like the reigning foundation stick queen for me <laughs> oh by the way always keep a hand mirror with you as well because you never know if you're gonna have a mirror so i'm just gonna go ahead and swipe all over my face and then i'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and blend this out Okay, foundation has been applied. Before I forget, I am also going to moisturize my lips. I do like to keep a lip balm always, always with me. This one is the Tatcha, the Kiss You Lip Mask. I really, really like this lip mask. It's very pretty. So moving on, let's talk concealer. I have two concealers here with me. I have more of a light coverage guy and then more of like a medium to full. So for my light coverage, I like to bring my Josemaran Vibrancy. And then for my medium to full coverage, I have my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. They're both great. The reason I bring both is just, you know, depending on my mood, depending on what I want to do. Sometimes I won't even apply foundation and I'll just go in with just the concealer. And that's when I'll use the more light coverage one. Or if I want something a little bit more full glam like if i have somewhere important to go to and i want my skin to just look really flawless then i'll use the more medium to full coverage guy so i think i'm gonna go for the laura mercier one today i really like this concealer it's very good i'm just gonna apply a little bit right underneath the eyes and on the inner corner of the eye 
And again, blending it out with my sponge. So this is about the time that I like to go in with my powder. And so of course I have one of my favorites here. This is a pressed powder from Charlotte Tilbury. It is a skin perfecting micro powder in number one fair. I use this pretty much just to set my under eyes and sometimes like the center of my face. I would always suggest on the go bringing a pressed powder with you because it's so much less messy than a loose powder which can potentially go everywhere. So this is just saving you from a couple potential disasters. So I am going to take my little brush here from Lila B and I just sweep it into the powder and just sweep this underneath my eyes. and I guess the center of my face. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with my cheek products. So I only have these three guys with me and they're all creams and or liquids. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I like to bring creams or liquids because I find I don't have to bring like a thousand brushes to apply my blush, my bronze, or my highlighter. I pretty much don't even need anything. I could just use my fingers with these guys, but I use my sponge just for ease of use. So I'm first going in with my bronzer. This is my Nude Sticks Bondi Bay. You guys know I love this. I've been using it for years. And I'm just going to dab this on a couple areas of my face. The only downside to use this sponge for pretty much everything is that you're absolutely cross-contaminating it. So you kind of got to be careful. You don't want to like apply bronzer and then use the same sponge to touch up your foundation, you know, because then things are gonna, just going to get really messy. But I just make sure that after using a sponge like this that I just wash it at the end of the day. Now moving on to my blush, I have the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Dawn in here. Um, this is a beautiful kind of like burnt orange color. It's so, so pretty. Um, so I just kind of like to squeeze out a little bit. I don't even put on the back of my hand because I don't feel like dirtying the back of my hand. And I just take my sponge, pick it up directly like that. And then I'll just tap, tap on both cheeks. And then I'll take whatever is left over on the sponge and kind of tap it on a Kleenex or something else that I have nearby. And then I'll go in and blend up the color. You could also use your fingers for something like this. But like I said, since I have the sponge already, this is why I like to use it. Oh my God, this color is so pretty. Love that. Now I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. This is the <laughs> Coco Kind My Light Skin Nourishing Highlighter in the shade Rose. And it's just a really pretty, very subtle, kind of highlighter, but it gives such a nice kind of wet look to the skin, so I love that. So I'm actually gonna pick it up a little bit on my finger. You could also use a sponge for this, but might as well just use the finger, and I just pat it on the high points of my face. This is just a nice glossy highlight. For the eyes, I kind of force myself to keep it pretty simple. <laughs> this is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Peekaboo. This is a super just simple eyeshadow that you can kind of just swipe all over the lid. You don't even need to have a crease color. So that is why I like it because if I don't really want to put anything, then I'll just put this. And that way I have a nice little glowy situation on my lid that's just simple and it's easy and it's actually very, very pretty. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and swipe it all over my lid. And that way you actually don't even need to have or use an eyeshadow brush. And because what's nice about this is that you don't really have to necessarily blend it out. It's such a sheer color that there's not gonna be any visible harsh lines. I actually almost forgot to do my brows. So I'm going to do my brows now using my three brow products that I have. I have been enjoying brow pens, especially with my new eyebrow shape. So that's why I really like this. And I pretty much just have my Benefit Precisely for the spoolie, even though I love this pencil so much and I use it all the time. Um, this guy doesn't have a spoolie, so I need to have one on hand. So I'm just taking this, this is in the shade Cool Cookie, and I'm just creating small little hair-like strokes. And then I go in with my boy brow and I set it all in place and add some thickness. Okay, brows are done. Before I apply my mascara, I'm gonna spray my face with my little setting spray. Look how cute she is. This is the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray in a little mini version, so it's perfect for a makeup bag or for traveling or anything like that. So I'm just gonna spray this on my face. 
So now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. This is my Lancome Monsieur Big. I honestly kind of just put whatever mascara I have lying around in my makeup bag. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. All right, we have made it to the very last product that is in my makeup bag. We have my Kosas Wet Lip Oil Lip Gloss. This is one of my current favorite lip glosses. It's so freaking good, especially for every day. It just is that perfect rosy nude. Your lips put better, gives a great sheen. So we're gonna apply a nice thick layer of this stuff. All right guys, this is the finished look. And those are all the products that I like to use in my everyday on the go makeup bag. All right guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below as per usual. Let me know some of your favorite products that you like to keep in your makeup bag. Give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.